All right, let's talk about the IRA and Roth IRA contribution limits for the year 2022. Now, they're not much different from the IRA and Roth IRA contribution limits of 2021. So let's get into it. If you are contributing to an IRA, you're allowed to put in $6,000 a year for the year 2022. If you're over the age of 50, you can put an extra thousand dollars in what they call a catch up provision for a total of $7,000. If you're investing in a Roth IRA, you're allowed to put in $6,000 as your contribution, and if you're over the age of 50, an extra $1,000. That's $7,000 total in your Roth IRA. Now, in order to contribute to an IRA or contribute to a Roth IRA, there are income limits, okay? And these are set by the IRS, and they're based on how you file your tax return. Now, if you file single, and your modified adjusted gross income is less than $129,000, you are allowed to make an IRA or a Roth IRA contribution. If you file married filing jointly, you're allowed to make $204,000 or less in order to contribute to an IRA or a Roth IRA. If your income limits are above that, you need to look at other retirement planning vehicles. All right. Now, people always ask me, Drew, should I contribute to an IRA or a Roth IRA? And here's what I always say. This is a good rule of thumb. If you're contributing to an IRA and you're older and you're making more income, continue to contribute to an IRA. Because if your income level is here and when you retire, you expect it to be here, then take the tax deduction as your income is higher, especially if you're in your 50s or 60s. If you are younger, 20s, 30s, 40s, I would prefer you contribute to a Roth IRA. Again, just make sure that your modified adjusted gross income is below the figures that allow you to contribute to an IRA or a Roth IRA. Now, I, I did not mention what modified adjusted gross income is. That is the figure on the bottom of your tax return after all your exemptions, your deductions, your credits, everything's been calculated into your tax return. That's the figure at the very bottom. Talk to your CPA or your accountant, look at your tax software, and it will, it will easily point out what your modified adjusted gross income is. All right. Now, I want you to remember two things. First, spousal IRA. If you are an individual who works and you have a spouse who stays home, maybe with the kids, maybe you just don't, the spouse doesn't work for whatever reason, you have the option to contribute to a spousal IRA. Now, the income limits still apply, so you have to, if you're, if you're married, filing jointly, you have to make less than $204,000 in modified adjusted gross income, but you are allowed to contribute to an IRA or a Roth IRA on behalf of your spouse. Real world example, my name's Drew, my wife is Valerie. She stays home with our three beautiful children. If at the end of the year, our modified adjusted gross income is not above $204,000. I can contribute to a Roth IRA, $6,000 of an IRA or a Roth IRA contribution in her name. It's Valerie Blackston Roth IRA. It goes in there for her. Something very important if you're trying to save for retirement. Now, a lot of people say, Drew, I don't have enough money to do a $6,000 contribution. Should I still contribute to an IRA or to a Roth IRA? My answer is yes. I love what the Bible says. It says, do not despise small beginnings because compound interest is our greatest gift outside of Jesus. And if you can continue to contribute, it doesn't matter what the amount is, compound interest will be your friend. I have a video at the very end of this called How Much to Save for Retirement. And in that video, I go through what it's like to contribute to retirement and why you don't need a whole lot of money to start contributing, okay? So 2022 IRA and Roth IRA contributions have not changed from 2021. The only thing that has been adjusted up are the income limits 
and it's about $4,000, okay? So hey, thank you so much for watching this. If you have any questions or concerns, all my information is below to contact me. Make sure you subscribe to the Your Financial EKG YouTube page. Smash the like button if you find this video helpful in your retirement journey, and please leave your questions and comments below. I do read them all and try to respond to everybody. Thank you so much for watching. God bless. Bye-bye.